First, a demo of inheritance. In this video, we are going to add some widgets to the views we have created, and we'll learn about the placing in view function. We'll also learn how inheritance is broken by editing widget properties and how it can be restored. To recap the views we set up in the previous video, what we create in the base view is inherited by the medium view, which is in turn inherited by the large view. So we create a rectangle in base. You'll see that it appears in both the medium view and the large. But if we create text in the large view, you'll see that this is not included in the medium or base view. But take a look at the widget manager in the base view. You'll see that our text widget is registered there, but it's in red text. The red indicates that the widget is not included or placed in the view. If we change our mind and decide this widget is required in this view, we can use the place in view method. There, our widget is now included in the view. And because our medium view inherits from the base, you'll find it is now included there as well. Remember that any subsequent changes to the grandfather are inherited through the views, unless the chain of inheritance has been broken by making edits further down the chain. Let's demonstrate this. If we change the width of the rectangle widget in the medium view, the chain of inheritance between the width property for this widget has been broken from base. As you can see, if we edit the width in base, this change is not inherited. Note that this chain is on a property by property basis. I can change the color in base and this is inherited by the medium view. A useful thing to know is that you can restore the chain of inheritance by changing the child object property back to match the parent. That is, I change the width in the medium view to match the base and our chain is restored. We can evidence that by my changing the width in the base and it being reflected in the medium view. Okay, hopefully you're starting to have a good understanding of how widgets are managed between adaptive views.